Hey, howdy, hey, happy travelers! Welcome to the Himalayas! <laughs> it is the official first ever Pixar Day at Sea! This is the day we've been waiting for. This is the biggest day of the whole cruise. We are going to get in some major Pixar action today. Let's go ahead and get it started. Without further ado, day number three on board the Disney Fantasy and the first ever Pixar Day at Sea. It begins right now. Let's do this! <laughs> so when you look in the navigator, the Disney app, uh, it tells you all the fun Pixar themed activities that are going to be going on today. Now there are way too many for us to show today and way too many for us to list out for you today. However, if you go to our Instagram, um, there will be an Instagram post where I screen recorded all the whole list of all the dailies activities, all the meet and greets. So if you want to know like everything that is available for Pixar Day at Sea today, you can check it out there and get the full list. But we're gonna start today by meeting some characters. Hello, my name is Russell and I'm ready to meet some characters. In fact, we're gonna meet some of the characters that are on Matt's awesome periodic table of Pixar characters. Which ones will it be? You'll find out today. And what would be a character meet and greet without a themed costume change? First costume change for today will be pretty obvious if you know me pretty well. What color is your hoodie? I'm a more, I'm a more. I can see that it's red. I'm a more, I'm a more. Just like my girls, I'm a more, I'm a more. Let's go meet them now, I'm a more, I'm a more. Yes, they're playing Pixar music throughout the halls. Oh yeah. What's this from? Uh, I think, is this inside out, I think? All right, we're getting started right off the bat, baby. I, my favorite Pixar movie. And you're dressed for the occasion? Of course. To match? Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> oh. We're twins today. Twins today, look at that. Oh, thank you. Miguel, did you see her on that video? Look at her shoulder. Look. <laughs> What's what's their name? Allie. Allie. Allie the Allegria. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Whole cruise main. I don't care what else happens today, tomorrow, the next day. That was worth the whole ticket I paid to be on this cruise. I mean, uh, seize your moment. It's worth it. It's worth it, people. Also worth mentioning, it is. 10 12 and that meet and greet was supposed to start at 10 15 but we got down there at 10 and miguel was already there so i would recommend getting there a little bit early beating the lines and you never know they they, they might be there early time for outfit number two and i think you know what's up with this one do you see what i mean okay interesting so as you can see it is 10 23 our next meet Mike Wazowski at 10.30 on the balcony, but Sully's there. Sully wasn't supposed to be there until 11 o'clock, so I, I'm not really sure with the times. People are getting here earlier. I, I think it's just, you see them, go get in line for them. While we're waiting to meet Sully or, and or Mike, we've just been told they're switching off, look out the porthole and there's Russell. And some people just had some service dogs meeting him, so it was like Doug. Doug was meeting Russell, it was cool. What's interesting too is Russell wasn't on the itinerary, so this is just kind of like a surprise meet and greet. So look out for those as well. Okay, I think I figured out the time conundrum here. So Sully started me meeting at 10 o'clock. It says it was only gonna be 15 minutes, but it's 10, almost 10.30 and he's still there. So I think they're just sticking around longer to uh, to finish up people who were um, wanting to meet. And I actually think this is for Mike Wazowski, who's supposed to come out at 10.30. So, you know, it's the first one, we're figuring it out, but I think that's what's going on. Oh, check it out! Just 
running up and down the stairs. With giant crayons. This is the best day ever! Ah, they switched over. Looks like we are gonna meet Mike. That's Mike Wazowski with one eye. So they've been having Pixar characters make announcements over the PA. And Edna Mode herself just yelled at us and told us not to wear capes. Not to wear pool towels as capes. Where did you just come from, Prague? Milan. Milan. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. We got a little worried because we did find this. But we talked to Roz, your favorite lady. She said it's okay. We're all clear. So we're not even going to worry about that. We're okay. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. That was so fun. And something I do want to make a note of because we've had several people ask is that the monsters weren't able to give autographs today. The other question we did get a lot is will you be able to get right up with your friends to take a picture? And the answer is yes. So we were planning on doing Mike and Sully back to back and they've kind of been switching off but the line has gotten so long that it's doing a complete loop around the deck for atrium all the way around so we waited about 35 minutes yeah Miguel waited one second <laughs> what, uh, Mike was asking we waited uh, like 35 minutes and the same would be for Sully if you waited well now it would actually be longer because we were up there when we got in line so 45 to an hour, maybe if it's around to this point. So, what? It's Pixar Day at Sea. That's what we're here for. Yar! And remember, at Monsters Inc., we scare because we care. You were on TV. Outfit change number three. You probably will not be able to guess the character by the closet pull. However, maybe this will clear some things up for you. And after some effort, dun, 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 ready to meet Joy. We're gonna have a good day, which is gonna turn into a good week, which will turn into a good year, which will turn into a good life. Let's go meet Joy. Well, they had cut the line for the next meeting with Joy and Sadness. And they said the one after that wouldn't start for almost another hour. So they said we were welcome to wait, but it would be quite a while because they got so backed up, they're running behind. So we're gonna go dine somewhere else for lunch, but check it out, they got Pixar Day at Sea banner up in Cabanas. Actually, they have several banners. Look, we haven't seen you yet. And don't forget these guys. <laughs> Mexican cob, which is a salad, cob salad, not corn on the cob, cob salad, romaine lettuce, baby spinach, grilled chicken breast, black beans, charred corn, egg, queso fresco, and pico de gallo, and then they have their plant-based dog. They usually have that here. That's not special for today. And there's a look at the Mama Coco's cob, and here's the panini, but there you go. There's a look inside the panini. Got the cheese, the apples, the meat. Oh boy. Toasted up goodness. So in the atrium, they're doing Jack-Jack's diaper dash right now, and I don't want to film a bunch of babies. <laughs> I, I've never seen someone jump and clap and like be like, yay! 
as much as me. That's what was funny is you were like twinning with Miguel earlier. You guys looked very similar. You had uh -huh. the same duds on. But Joy and you were just like the exact same. We're like this. We, I think we share the same aura. Yes. And sadness was super sweet too. Yeah. She's, that, you know, getting a little, little, little saddy there, a little cry, but... She's a little shy, but I think I made her very happy when I told her that all three of us had the same hair. That's yeah. true. So we were all in it together. <laughs> and the hair was fun, but now I'm going to go shower, because, wow. And while Chels continues to watch gallons of blue hair dye, hair dye or hairspray out of her hair after our sadness and joy meet and greet, I'm going to take you to show you something very special that we're doing today for Pixar Day at Sea. You may have noticed my shirt today. Of course, Chels has been doing several costume changes, and that's relevant information for this particular activity. Because this event is going to feature Edna Mode and guests. Guests dressed up in their finest. Edna is going to critique and rate them and pick her favorite, I think is the idea here. It's a fashion show. Welcome to Pixar Day T's most exclusive, stylish and iconic event, Style on Parade with Edna Mo. Yes, yes, it is I, Edna Mo. It is marvelous to grace you with my presence and see your creations. I look forward to judging you. I mean, encouraging you. that throughout the various theaters, you know, the Walt Disney Theater is typically reserved for stage shows, the Buena Vista Theater for movies and cinema. But for today, they're actually playing several films inside the Walt Disney Theater as well. You can see Coco is about to start here in just a little bit. They were playing Toy Story earlier, so be sure to check out both theaters if you're interested in watching some Pixar movies. You can also view them from your stateroom TV on demand. And now it's time for a character meet and greet we have maybe been the most excited for. Can you see a little sneak peek? You can't see the character, it's quite a small one. You see the cookbook behind him? Anyone can cook. And the line to meet little chef extends far down the hallway heading towards animator's palette. Little chef, are you excited to meet bigger <laughs> chef? Me too. Oh, and we mentioned earlier that the monster friends could not do autographs, but when we, when we mentioned to me uh, Joy and Sadness, they did ask if we wanted autographs. So, yes, autographs are happening for those asking for those characters that are able to do so. Knock, knock. Who's there? I'm watching. Exactly. shape adventure badges for the wilderness explorers. Place it down the floor for me like this, and I want you to put your hands out like this into a W shape. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. They've got like little activity sheets. It was like a thing that you, it was like a scavenger hunt thing you could do like at your leisure around the ship today. Oh, wow. So I'm not sure where you, could, where you pick up the cards, but I bet if you go to like guest services, they'll help steer you to where you need to go. Yeah. That's cool. The wilderness must be explored! Ka! Ka! Ra! Fantastic! Hello to Russell and Doug! Ah. Oh. Be 
before we get our ship shape out, we need to complete and recite the ship shape oath. So, everybody, what I want you to do is I want you to hold one hand up like this and put one hand over your heart. And I want you to repeat after me. As a wilderness explorer, I promise. And strive to be ship shaped and seaworthy. For the greater good of our planet. Congratulations, you will earn your ship shape back. concludes our meet and greets for the day. Remy was our last one and then um, Doug and Russell ended up being like a bonus spotting. Yes. But we are still going to see friends later on today but I wanted to mention that like the meet and greets took up like the majority of the day. Yeah. Like they were worth it and stuff. But I think you're gonna have to kind of decide do you wanna focus on meet and greets or do you wanna focus on like activities? It's true. But the good thing is too is though even though this is the official day at Pixar Day at Sea, there are going to be other meet and greets on other days as well. And of course, especially today, they've been playing a lot of Pixar movies on the Fall Vision as well. Alright, we are up on deck for our first main show of the evening. There's like two little features tonight. So one, uh, the first feature is going to have two showings, so opposite of your dinner. And then everyone's going to come out for a big party bash out on deck, similar to how they do for the fireworks on Pirate Night. So this show is called the Pixar Pals Celebration. And it's kind of like a stage show, like how they do a special stage show for Pirate Night. This is a Pixar show.
means the chef at Royal Court because that is where we are dining tonight and it is dinner time. Let's do this. So, of course, Royal Court normally has a regal royalty theme, princes, princesses, things like that, but tonight is a special menu because of Pixar Day at Sea. So you're going to have different beverages, different food items themed after various Pixar characters. Starting with the drinks, they do have three specialty cocktails tonight, two of which are mocktails and feature souvenir items. We'll be looking for those for sure. Uh, appetizers, you're seeing stuff from Russell or from Merida, from Brave, all that good stuff. You have salads and soups, so it's your typical menu layout, but just with a bit of fun, a little bit of pizzazz with the character names. We're sat next to a painting of Eric and Ariel. And we also have a tile mosaic behind us. Now we showed you the menu on the app, but I did want to point out that the actual tangible menu is decorated and themed, which is super cool. All right, first course has arrived. Appetizer, we both went with Russell's mac and cheese, which has some shrimp inside of it. I'm very excited for this. Joe's got an additional item, which is a balbon, like a Korean barbecue balbon, and soup and salad time now. I went with the broccoli cream soup. And I got the wedge salad with Greek goddess dressing, which is one of my favorites. Did I say Greek goddess? I meant green goddess. I, I promise you it is one of my favorites. And we got some super fun drinks. Got the chef's hat here. With the Remy Little Chef Super. candy on top. I wasn't expecting it to be. but not linguine like ratatouille. This is Massimo's linguine pasta with like Luca. Check out the awesome dessert menu. What? Got the Incredibles on the inside. And on the back, who else? And now dessert. <laughs> Coco strawberry churros with chocolate sauce. I went with the Pixar ball, which is like a cheesecake basically. So here we go. Pretty fun. Okay, we have some top secret information to share with you about dinner. Not really, but we're gonna talk about dinner in a little bit because we are running to the pool deck because we are gonna check out the first ever Pixar Day at Sea. Fireworks! One of the downsides of having the second seating for dinner is on nights that they do fireworks because you're stuck in the restaurant trying to finish and everyone else here at the early seating, they get to come on up and then they all grab the spots and then you're kind of just gotta make do. Yeah, so we only had like 20 minutes to get up here and get a spot where it's like everybody else had like all the time in the world, like the first seating. Yeah. You know, pros and cons. And of course, this fireworks extravaganza is incredible theming. All right, everyone. Who's ready to get things started? Let me hear you. I am super glad that you are here to help celebrate our heroes of honor, the most renowned heroes in all of Munisburg. Let's extend a warm welcome to
somewhere close. He's behind you! All right, watch that. I'm going to get you. seen a lot of Disney shows, right? That Incredibles one was not quite up to par. Oh. Oh. It wasn't as super as we were expecting. Well, the funny thing is, they're all cheesy, right? Yeah. All these fireworks shows, Pirate Night, or even the Merry Merry Time one, which is just holly jolly, so who cares? Yeah. They're all gonna be a little bit Disney cheesy, right? It's for families, no problem with that. That one, though, was just kinda like, what is I, this? I think they have some um, things to iron out and some comedic timing to kind of iron out. And I'm sure they will. Remember, this is the first sailing. Right. So it, we're the guinea pigs, right? So that's completely okay. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting show. I would, I would, the I word I would use would be interesting, not incredible. Mm. And with that, Fireworks show is going to conclude our Pixar Day at Sea. We're not ending on the highest of notes, but it was a good day at sea today. I will say, we have had a ton of days at sea, both regular, we've done very merry time, we've had some holly jolly days at sea, we've had some exciting days at sea, but I do think this was probably the most fun day at sea we've ever had. I mean, that's what Pixar is all about, right? Colors, characters, zany fun and and that was present throughout the day even if the last note wasn't maybe I, the best but overall you couldn't have asked for a better day do not be like oh well i'm not going to do it now because of the fireworks oh, don't no, don't no, do that no, at all no, no. we i would 100 percent do this pixar day at sea again in a heartbeat it was so fantastic oh snap i just realized something too the characters that they chose for the backdrop here joy nemo mike uh -huh. woody and Frozone. Yeah. And if you put those letters together, you know what you get? What? Jim. <laughs> Back in the room and check out tonight's towel animal. Wow. Wow. That's supposed to be Eve. <laughs>
That is pretty cool. That looks awesome. And like we said, the very first ever Pixar Day at Sea comes to an end, but it was just the most fabulous time you could have. I, I, today was a really great day. Today was the reason why you booked this cruise. I would book it again, 100%. Love Pixar. They did a really good job of having so many characters, experiences. Um, oh, dinner, forgot to mention dinner. Um, the the menu the Pixar menu was actually really good. It was every, everything we had we liked, so it was nice because it wasn't just oh we'll throw some character names on there and make it fun. I mean, what more can you really do? But the food quality was great. Yeah, my favorite was the Russell's uh, shrimp mac and cheese. That was my favorite that item was good. of the night. But honestly, everything we had was it was really good, and I would love to do this again. The bad news is the official Pixar Day at Sea has ended. The good news is that there is still Pixar stuff all throughout the rest of the cruise, not in today's quantity. Yeah, we still have several days left of this cruise and we are gonna full fill them with as much Pixar as we possibly can. Do you wanna fill your days with as much Pixar as you possibly can? Then you should come on board a Pixar day at sea sailing with Disney Cruise Line. We can help make that happen. Of course, we are travel agents. Our services are completely free. You will pay us nothing and your price will not be a single set more than what if you booked on your own direct. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. It's in the description of this video and every other video that's on our channel. We are signing off for tonight though from the very first ever Pixar Day at Sea. We'll see you back tomorrow on board the Disney Fantasy, a stop in Tortola. Hello. So lots of fun still coming. So we'll see you back then. Signing off for now. Happy, Happy travels. travels. I only have one more thing to say. Remember me, remember, remember me. me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me, remember me, don't let it make you cry, one more time, I wouldn't have, have nothing, nothing if, if I, I didn't, didn't have you, A-E-I-O, that means you, you. <laughs>